So this took place only a few months ago, sometime in early July, I want to say. Anyways, my friend was over and had to make a run to Walmart. It was about 9 o'clock. Not too late, but a time my mother normally wouldn't let me go out and about at. But given that I was graduated, me being 18, friend 19, my mom let us go. A quick plan to get garbage bags, something that should have taken 5 minutes top ended up taking half an hour. We got in, got the garbage bags, and walked around for a bit. We were just kind of fooled around, browsing and talking, whatever. During this time, I noticed that my friend was acting kind of weird, but burst it off. We were standing in line, ready to check out. My friend leaned in close and said, Do you see that guy? I glanced up, but didn't know what she was talking about. I still feel really guilty about this for being too dumb to notice. We started walking away after checking out, but only buying only garbage bags doesn't take a lot of time. As we were leaving, she started to explain. There was some dude that said hello and being polite, she said hi back. We then saw him at checkout. Both of us being porn paranoid, naturally we brushed it off. We got in the car and we just... We saw him in the parking lot. Again, no big deal. Deciding to play it safe, we decided to wait until he left. Turns out he had a couple of guys with him. They pulled over on our left, leering at us through the car windows. It was nearly dead silent in the car, but I could swear you could hear our hearts frantically beating. Even typing this, I still get that panic. The car of guys quickly sped over parking next to us. My friend immediately floored the car, pulling in reverse and speeding out of the parking lot. The guys followed. We honestly thought we were going to die, whether it would be going from 80 miles or by a group of creepy dudes. We quickly sped out of there, making a turn on some random road, the car of guys behind us at all times going as fast as we were. At one point, they ended up passing us and waving before pulling into a church parking lot ahead and turn around to get behind us again. At this point, we're still going 80 and a 35 and getting closer to my house. Neither of us wanted to lead the guys to our homes, so we thought fast. Near my house, there's a little store where you can buy cigarettes, alcohol, candy. Pretty much a gas station without any gas pumps. We hauled ass to the back of the store parking and moving to head in through the back. One of the workers was outside in the back and approached us. All we had to say and have time to say it was, we're being stalked. Luckily, the guy I understood exactly I started going up to the fr up front. We peeked around the corner and all well, and behind the group. Behold, the group of guys were there around front. My friend and I proceeded to sneak in through the back. Now the back, now now in the back on the left side is a deli station, and the right side is where the alcohol is. My friend ducked into the deli station and I hid out on the right side. There was a female worker in the deli, and my friend made a signal for her to be quiet. The female worker pretended we weren't there at all. A couple minutes pass and hear the we hear the front door open. I peek around the corner and it's one of the guys. I hide and I head out and back heart racing hoping he doesn't come back here. Finally a few more minutes pass and the guys the guy worker from before comes in through the black the back and tells us that the guys are gone. He chewed them out. Oddly enough they flat out admitted to stalking us when the guy worker pretended to be family they quickly backed off company claiming they were only getting beer. Learned from the female worker that those guys are regulars and are always going about on about creepy and sexist crap in Spanish, thinking she doesn't know. My friend and I end up hanging out for a little bit just to make sure the guys weren't hanging around on a street corner. Totally grateful to the guy and girl working there because they were in complete understanding and worried about us. So creepy guys at Walmart. Let's not meet again. I live in a military town, so everyone here is either in the military like my husband, and I are they are the locals, backwards redneck types you'd find near the Bible Belt. Most of the general prop population is pretty poor, a lot of homeless, a lot of, well, there's no way nice to put it, 
white trash type folk. I live near a Walmart that I usually go shopping at, and during the day it's filled with your usual Walmart shoppers. At night, however, it's usually full of weirdos. Some normal people there, of course, just trying to grab last minute groceries or medicine or whatever, but some people who just don't have any anywhere else to be, or they're high or drunk, and Walmart is open 24-7, so they just come to hang out like it's their, like it's a damn arcade or something. Anyway, it was like 11.30 at night, and I realized my daughter was at a formula. I had to make her bottles for the day every morning for daycare, so I had to go get far formula before morning. I told my husband, I'd, uh, my husband I'd be back in a few minutes, and drove down the road. In the baby aisle, I grabbed her formula and stopped to look at a cute dress for her. I was looking her through the baby clothes when I saw someone out of the corner of my eye and I felt the hairs on my arm stand up. I glanced at him and then he then did a double take. This man was standing there, just staring at me. He didn't seem to be bothered by the fact that I noticed him. I did this weird nervous fake laugh and said something like, Oh, these are so cute, huh? He didn't say anything, just kind of smirked and kept staring. The dude was a few, like a few inches taller than me, maybe 5'9", white with long hair, and he looked either homeless or severely down on his luck. He had one hand on the crotch of his pants, kind of nonchalantly, like it just rested there. He was maybe six feet away from me. I started to get nervous and felt my palms started sweating. I said something dumb about have a good night and just kind of fast walked away but in my haste to get away from him I turned left toward the back of the store I decided to grab a 12 pack of coke zero in addition to the formula and then decided to get out of there I hadn't grabbed a car so I couldn't really carry much more on my way back to the front of the store I heard him shuffling behind me keeping pace with my speed walking I tried to calm, calm myself down and write it off as him just also going to check out. I go in, into the 10 items or less lined. He got in line behind me. He had no items, but he pulled a candy bar off the shelf and set it on the counter behind my stuff. At this point, I could smell him and he stank like body odor and stale beer. I turned my head away from him and he tried to move a little bit closer to the woman in front of me. He moved closer too. Then I felt something brush my left butt cheek. I turned towards him sharply and said, Hey! He mumbled an apology. Keep in mind I'm wearing jeans and a baggy t-shirt. Not that it should matter, I looked like crap, is what I'm trying to get at. I turned back towards the counter and the cashier, staring, started ringing up my two items. Two seconds later, the man pitched, pinched my other butt cheek hard. At this point, I turned around and said very loudly, Hey, stop touching my ass. He turned, red, he turned red and the cashier froze. She asked if there was a problem. Yes, I replied. This guy just pinched my butt and I don't know, know him and he's creeping me out. She looked unsure of what to do and asked him to please step away from me before she called security. He did wordlessly and then just stood there glaring daggers at me. I pretended I didn't notice and paid for my things. As soon as she bagged up the stuff, I booked it out of the store. I maybe got 10 steps into the parking lot when I heard the doors open behind me. Panicking, I turned and saw him marching directly toward me. I bolted. My car was two lanes away and I yanked out my keys and unlocked it while I ran. I could hear him behind me grunting and panting. I felt adrenaline kicking and tears in my eyes. I ran swinging the bags and case of soda, flung myself into the driver's seat and turned the key into the ignition before the door even shut. I threw it in reverse without looking just as he slammed his body into the hood of the car and yelled something. I peeled it out of the lot at almost 30 miles an hour and he flew off my hood and into the ground, and I dro drove the mile home going well over the limit, breathing hard and feeling like I was going to hyperventilate. When I got home, I still had chills. I raced inside and locked the door. My husband wanted to go find him and beat his ass. His solution for pretty much anything, but I just wanted to shut the windows and crawl into bed. I didn't know what makes people do these things. They do. Do they realize how terrifying they come off as? I don't even want to leave my house without a mace and a taser and a railgun. 
So, creepy guy at Walmart, I hope we never meet again.